one. Hi, this is a 1992 King of the Road um, fifth wheel and it is for sale. We're going to show you the in outside first and then the inside. And you'll see that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. The inside is immaculate and the outside is pretty good too. So here we go. This trailer has lots of storage. We we'll start with the front compartments. Anything that you see can come with it or doesn't have to. So in here we've got some lights that go on the canopy and the um, storage is all lockable. And this one just has a barbecue and the um, direct TV things which can come or not. Lots of storage. These are fully lockable. Coming around here, it has two slide outs. One is for the bedroom area, and then one is for the um, living room and the dining room pop out. Here we have the two propane tanks. And then here we have all of the plumbing things. The trailer is currently all plumbed up, so um, all of the plumbing is done right now. This fifth wheel has uh, six new tires on it. and it has just been washed and waxed. Coming around to the entrance side, this is your wastewater holding tank, and this is the hot water heater, this is the back of the refrigerator, and these are the living room windows. There's lots of windows in this fifth wheel. Uh, the awning is about five years old works great um, it is not automatic but it does come down really easily and come back up over here are the battery the two batteries again they've been replaced pretty recently and here is a sliding storage unit this is a um, rug for the outside and then direct TV box. Um, again, you can have any of this or not. And all of this is lockable. So here's the entrance to the rig. Uh, my dad uh, made this step so it's a little easier to get up into it. It does have a door and here we go into the inside so you walk into the open plan living room dining room and kitchen again the living room and dining room are on a um, pop-out Everything in this um, rig works great. My dad was a very um, mechanical sort of guy and he really was meticulous about upkeep. So right now we are going to take a look at the kitchen. So the kitchen has lots of storage, both upper and lower cabinets. It has a double sink overlooking the window and it has something called a dish master. This um, has a reservoir of soapy water underneath and then when you um, go like this you get soap in your scrubby. It also has drinking water. These cabinets go all the way to the other side and then we have four drawers that open quite nicely. Um, this is a pretty new um, microwave that works great. 
And this is a Magic Chef oven with four, or a stove with four burners. And then a oven that's pretty good sized for a fifth wheel. It has a bottom storage drawer. And it has a pantry. So the pantry rolls out. Sorry, I forgot to unlock it. So it rolls out. You can put these anywhere you want. And then it locks back into place if you're traveling. Again, another drawer here. And it has a nice size fridge and refrigerator, both of which are very cold and work great. So this is the freezer. And this is the refrigerator. And this is just the access to the electricity. So going um, the other way, this is your dining room. It has um, the upholstery on the dining room chairs and the um, lounge chairs and the sofa have all been reupholstered. Re the table and the chairs are movable so you can move them wherever you want to if you have um, guests. Uh, this cabinet can, um, goes all the way through. You can access it through the living room side as well. And this also has a bottom cabinet that is only accessible through the dining room. The sofa um, was reupholstered several years ago and it does make out into a bed so it can sleep too. And these are um, the pad for it and some um, extra bedding if you would like it. Otherwise, we can take it with us. This is the entertainment center. So it has two areas for a DVR, a DVD, or your um, satellite or whatever you'd like, as well as a little cupboard right here. And lots of storage up here for games or whatever you'd like to store. TV usually went down here. These are two lounge chairs. They both work great. They have been reupholstered recently. And um, a lamp and an end table, which also come with it. This does have air conditioning, which is right here. And it also has a fan, which is nice on a hot day. And above the lounge chairs, you're gonna see lots more storage. If you buy this rig, it does come with the original directions as well as a binder of all the other directions that might be needed. And here is the original manual. It does come with about three sets of keys. So this is the open plan floor plan, and we're gonna go up two stairs and go up into the uh, bathroom and the bedroom. So this is the hallway, and we have a heater and a air conditioner unit, which works great, as well as some hang racks. This is the door to your bathroom for privacy. I would say that the only thing wrong with this rig is this window was not properly um, cleaned at one point. Sorry, mirror. And so it has this blemish on it. Other than that, everything looks great and works great. So let's go into the bathroom. This has a pretty nice sized tub as well as a shower. Um, all of the fans work and the tub does have a little um, plastic 
um, protector for the rest of the bathroom. Slides out all the way. It also has two hanging bars that come out so you can hang your clothes right here. The vanity has two sides that are identical. And then there is storage underneath the sink, as well as four drawers here. The toilet is um, one of the ones you use with your foot, and it works great. And you can also get to this linen closet from the bathroom, or the hallway, or the bedroom. And it also has these racks for your towels. All right, coming into the bedroom, we can close this um, little folding door for privacy, or it can be um, snapped back. Go up one more stair to get into the bedroom. It has a queen bed, and the queen bed is um, not the original, of course, so it's a pretty comfortable bed. Um, back into the hallway, this is the uh, other place for the linen closet. And then it has some under um, bottom cabinets as well, three. So this rig has a lot of windows. You've probably noticed that you've got windows all over the place, so it makes it really nice on a sunny day. Um, looking at this side of the, cup, the closets, we have a very deep closet right here that has hanging, and then we have a more shallow closet right here that gives room for two um, drawers. Both sides of the bed have a reading lamp like this, and it also has a little reading lamp up here, so you've got lots of options, as well as a little end table. And you've got more storage up here. Also has a fire, uh, fire alarm. This bed does come up by um, hanging onto this that's pretty heavy but it gives you even more storage down here it came with this extra cupboard door and we've never quite figured out what it is for i guess just an extra over here you have two full um closets and both of them look like this with a um counter up on top and then this is hanging right here. And then this is a computer or TV slide out. So it can slide out and then it attaches for security when you're traveling. And then we also have three more drawers. So the slide out for the bedroom comes to about right here. And both of the slide outs work really well. The bedroom one is probably quicker just because it's not as heavy, but both of them work great. So this rig has been used by my parents for about 20 years. They um, lived in it for about three months out of the year and it was stored the rest of the time. Again, my dad is, uh, was very meticulous and so it has been very well taken care of. And I think that it would be a great trailer for you if you would like to come and look at it. Then it is right now in Pismo Beach, California. And you can call Randy, who is my husband, and his phone number is 805-904-8155. Again, that's Randy at 805-904-8155. Hope to hear from you. Bye.